What's up, spiritual gang gang? Love, namaste, and I'm up in here. Um, we're gonna get me straight into it. Also, this is one of my batches of my new candles that's coming out. I just gotta brand, well, brand my candles, of course, and tag them. This is a batch. Um, I have many more up in there. I got four of those. It's gonna be more to come. I've been doing my work in portions. I've been trying to balance out my time. Um, so maybe that's significant for somebody. Between work and home and you know, things of the aspect. We're gonna get straight into it. My bad y'all, I wanted some candy. You wanna see? What you need to hear now, what you wanna hear. Period. Somebody you're doing. Living brazen is like living out loud, living your truth. You know what? No shame. Look, 11 11 on the clock. Confirmation somebody you've been living out loud, you've been living your truth with no shame in your game, and I love that. Be you and be great. And what you do. Mm. You've been forgiving something. You're going through a soul forgiveness. Hold on. With people that was wearing masks. Or just because you wear a mask in a situation. You showed up to a situation. With a mask on in it. Or you've been living. I allow being yourself with people who has been wearing masks around you, which puts you in a shame mentality. We don't we don't do shameful over here, okay? You got external cords to the divine. Oh, come on, you've been finding out your roots and or you've been finding out how you're protected in many ways. There is sacred lust. So maybe something was lusting over you and it was sacred. And this is something that you learn to forgive on a soulful level. You are grounding yourself, I see. Let's see, what's the sacred lust? Or something from sac something with sacred lust had you in a shame mentality. You got good juju here. I love to hear it. You reap nothing but good karma, darling. So keep doing what you do. Or, sir. Let's see. Anything else up this deck, spirit? Yeah, liberation. Sacred lust and secrets revealed. Okay, so liberation is getting something back that was taken from you. Right? So what I'm getting here is something was lusting after something, and you still got it. You still want an end. You still got it back. And secrets are being revealed around this thing. You are being called to have a soul forgiveness in, or you've been working on forgiving this on a soul level. But you are realizing that this was nothing but sacred lust. Some truths could be being exposed. Last night was a full moon. Okay, anything else, Spirit? Yeah, Rage, you're not mad. You're tapping more into your cosmic power. So maybe sacred lust is trying to bait you or like, Reactive abuse. It's like doing things to get a reaction. Right. But you're not feeding into it. You're not raging. And it's making you tap and align more with yourself and reap harvest. That you plan it. It's like you have seasons giving and receiving. Resistance. Sacristity. Where there is resistance, there's protection. So maybe you like took a step back, 18, 38, 27, 19, 37, 2, 23, 43, 10, and 1. And you're in a season of giving and receiving. So, or you could be in a season where you're giving or in a season where you're receiving. But what I'm getting from this here is you felt the resistance 
Yeah, because betrayal, intuition. You bag back because you knew about some type of betrayal that was going on. It was tuck on. And it could have been with the sacred lust. And it made you just bag back. You ain't raging. But it brought you a lot of happiness and good juju because how you handled the situation. And you living in your naked emotions. So it's like somebody's trying to get a reaction out of you, react with abuse, and you not give that. It was a test for you. And you passed your test. Okay. Yeah. Worthiness. Because you know you're worthy of something. Could have you in a grief mentality. Or something was trying to bully and take something spiritually. And you still you still won in the end. Like, how isn't it? Yeah, seasons. Going through the seasons. It was this song that came on. I was like, I could feel the storm. I could feel the weather. Maybe be you, you clear through the storm. Or you didn't react in the storm. You just, I'm going to just bag back spirit. This is beyond me. You know, I watched one of my old videos. Yeah, live out loud. You're living out loud. Living brazenly. Right? That means you're living in your truth. Secrets are being revealed, and there is some resistance there. But you're a wounded healer here, so that's probably why you're resisting, because it's like, been here, done that, know how this goes. For what? Um, but I was watching the video, right, and it's like I just lost it. It's weird. I was watching one of my videos. You need to surrender to Divine's plan. Anybody doing memory spells on me? Turn that shit back in the act. That's your spirit. Make it trickle back in the act. Um, oh, I was watching one of my videos and it was talking about how um, it's a test where. What the fuck, dude? Oh, there we go. It's a test where it, it could seem like a recognizable spirit to you. And it could be something way unrecognizable on the spiritual level. And it's like, are you going to give your battles to spirit or are you going to try to take it in on your own hands? Because. Is recognizable. That was in one of my old readings. Anything else? And I guess when you gave it to spirit, it was like, Bleh. somebody wants you in a shame mentality, or you could be in the shame mentality season. So forgiveness. You need to forgive something on the soul level. But it is putting you in a shame mentality. Putting you in a shame mindset. 19 could be significant. Okay. But yeah, that's what my video was saying. And that's truthful. Thank you, spirit. Brought it back. It's meant to be said. It'll be said. Um, and I'm guessing here, you, that could be a test for you that you already passed in or that is to come. Like, are you going to give it to your ancestors? You give them everything else. Are you going to give them this battle or are you going to, man, spirit, I got this. Call me, spirit. I'm just, well, I've been here, done that. But you're a wounded healer here, so what I'm saying is you've been here, done this. Somebody here, you need to go on a self-love journey. Somebody, you ain't danced in a while. The spirit is like, when is the last time you actually danced freely? Because it's very healing, okay? Am I ready to let go of this buried shame? Or you could be going through a reflection period of everything from the past stemming up to this point. And it's making you be more so in the shame mentality than, and the, oh, I'm a wounded ass healer, but you know what? I'm healing myself. I'm coming up out of this. You get what I'm saying? The feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is. When you live in shame, you live in darkness. What part of you is ready to stand in the light? Is there any shame from a past experience that is ready to be healed? Today's soul's action. Heal the shame by giving it a name. Bring it to the light and let it be seen, heard, and healed. It's revival season. Replace the shame with your soul's truth. Fill in the blanks. My soul's truth is... Am I on the right path? Somebody, are you even on the right path? Sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we eat. Or somebody recently been asking, am I even on the right path, spirit? Here's your answer. 
Um, we lose trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path. Know this, you are on the right path. Keep going, keep believing, keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't matter. That doesn't mean it's not real. So this is something that you did in your past life as well. And you made a soul contract to this thing, person, place, thing, item in the past life. So you're fulfilling the soul contract even though you can't see it. You could be having dreams. And if you're not getting dreams, this is something that you, you're on the right path. More of the story. Today's soul action. Today, search for all the ways you are aligned with your soul purpose. The signs will appear. Let this newfound trust fuel your next steps. Ooh. It's collective. You're on the right path. Somebody here, you've been second guessing yourself on everything. And spirit is like, we wouldn't have put you here if we didn't think it was for you. It was the right place at the right time. All your lessons, you're in shame mentality, but all your lessons got you up to this point. It led you to this point. All of your lessons, okay? Did you learn your lessons? 1101, 1102 on the clock. I want you to remember that. 1113 on the clock. Things could be foggy for you right now. It could be a little non clear. The spirit is like, that's why you. Ready, set, go. Let's pull your options. That's why you're um in this mentality of, am I even on the right path? Yes, you are. Don't stress it. Take it day by day, step by step. You know, keep going. But don't, you can be stuck in a state of hurt from the past. So if you never really heal what happened in your past, you could bring old cycles in a new cycle. Okay, collective. Let's see. All right, Spirit, what do you want at this deck? What do you want the collective to know? What do they need to know, not want? Music for manifestation. Somebody here, you need to watch what music you're listening to because it's manifesting, okay? Because it came up in reverse. To, or you ain't been using new music, okay? To manifest rapidly, think of your desires while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. The answer is yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Break free from friendships. So you gotta finally break free from some friendships. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. So maybe you've been around nothing but negative nuances. The spirit is like, listen, that's why things are manifesting through your music. You need to have nothing but positive energy so you can manifest nothing but positivity. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work to balance and flow activities. Somebody here, you're meant to be self-employed. Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. So it's like running to the finish line, you know, like, you know what, spirit? Somebody here, you're doing some mother and father healing. And that could be having you in a shame mentality, okay? You are born to be an entrepreneur. Your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So somebody here, you need to definitely declutter some things around you. Do some cleaning. You got a decision to make. Um, you got to forgive something on the soul level. Time to move on. Somebody got to move on from some friendship. It's like trying to hold on. Dream big. And you need to dream big. Dream big, bitch. I forgot who said that. Dream big, bitch. But um, it's like trying to hold on to a friendship and... It's negative as fuck. It's pulling you down. Let me see. That's for somebody here. Anything else off this deck, spirit? Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving, care, receive without guilt or apologies. Yeah, somebody, it's like you almost feel bad to um, receive things that you deserve, things from the divine. It's like, no, I get it. But it could be from shame from the past. Like, you had parents. If you're healing the mother, father, woman, you could have had parents that used it as leverage, control you, um, just genuinely didn't have it, and, or, or give it to you and take it back. And then put you in the mentality of, you know what, I'll figure that shit out. I'll do it on my own. Fuck it. So it's like, allow yourself to receive love, even if it's not money aspects. Love. 
help like allow yourself to receive in these things okay morning affirmations and somebody need to watch your thoughts heavy on the positive energy say positive affirmations say affirmations say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestations yes uh, so somebody here you gotta really watch what you manifest because it can come back to bite you okay oh okay spirit a new dawn. The worst is behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. So you then already went through the worst. You're going to get your heaven on earth. Spirit is like, keep striving, keep pushing, keep doing it, okay? Tranquility. Make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, including in much needed self-care. So you're being called to take more time. Focus on yourself. Love on yourself. The love you give yourself is the love others can reflect back to you. Simplify your life. Somebody, you really need to declutter your home and do new activities. Bring in abundance. Cause heavy on the positive energy. Okay. Okay, collective. Okay, collective. Somebody here, you're meant to be a boss. You're at the right place at the right time. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. So stop questioning your path. Yeah, look, our body speaks to us through pain, through physical pain or discomfort. Our body sends messages for us to look more deep and see the trapped emotions, the lurking fears and beliefs that limit you. Listen to your physical body and you will be led to the source of your pain. It's time to get your healing on. Yeah, it's like something going on in your present moment and it's reflect back from childhood. And it's something that you got to go deeper, deeper rooted to find. Okay, so today is so action. Get the book Heal Your Body by Louise L. Hay and find answers towards which your body is guiding you. We'll order you a healing candle. Take it high resonate. Okay. You like the book a person is reading. My information is definitely in the description. I do not work with nobody, so there has been a lot of people impersonating me, making fake accounts, fake YouTube, fake Facebooks. All my information is always in the bio. Even my business number is in the bio to reach me directly. Um, you can reach me through my business lines. I don't know if they'll call to say that, so I'm saying it. But don't get scammed. I will not reach out to you. You have to reach out to me. Okay. I see um like my Instagram. My Facebook is spiritual key. Spiritualist key. My business number is 260-410-4619. Friendship, support, fun, unity, and play. So maybe you're going through a healing period of old friendships that you had. Um, and it's bringing in new friends where you you are having support, fun, unity, and you plan. And or it's, it's hard for you to do that because of what old scarring didn't happen. So it's hard for you to have new friends and play and have fun. Be serious. Transmission, perception, and communication. And it could be a lot of lack of communication. So you need to communicate. Effort plus intentions. The efforts that you put out, the intention that you set out is what you get back. Okay? True love and compassion. You met your true love. Tenderness. Be very tender. You're not going to have a lot of compassion for each other, but you genuinely met your true love. That's the... Uh, Anything else with this deck? Nurturing compassion and grace. So it's like allowing yourself to be nurtured by compassion. You're releasing constraints. You're very protected, threshold protection and honor, but you are setting boundaries, I see. You're having an awakening, infinite mind, and awakening cautious. So you're awakening to some things. Um, reverent appreciation and prayer. So it's telling you to... um. Pray a little more to the manifest. Guide the eliminated path. The path is being eliminated. Or it's it was it's like sideways, so it's like a little foggy, but it's like you're walking and walking and walking, and this path is becoming more and more clearer. Twin flame, soul partner, external connection. Like I said, you're at the right place at the right time. You could have met your real twin flame here. Um, you are looking back, trying to move forward, and that's what's bringing you a lot of fog and confusion. 
and let this shit go. All right, clarity, planning, and releasing illusions. Yeah, you releasing these illusions? Because when you're looking in the past, trying to move forward, if they throwing shit on you, they trying to clean dark magic on you. It's easy to clean. All right. I like this. I like this message. It's beautiful. Ain't nothing bad. Ain't nothing go left. But every time I pull out the other bag, it's left here. Yeah, heavy on the looking back and moving forward. You're building your real creation, expansion, and you've been networking your business. 2023 on the clock. Hold on real quick, collective, okay? Be right back. Sorry about that, kitty collective. I have business to handle. Um, we'll get back to it. But like I said, somebody you were looking in the past and trying to move forward, and you can't do that. Because um, let's say the past is flinging a lot of dark magic, negativity on you. It will stick. So somebody being called to stop looking back and look forward. Let's see what your ancestors want to tell you. Somebody, you need to apologize about something because you're wrong. Like dead ass, dead ass wrong. Um, you're a badass, act like it. So somebody, you're a badass and you're acting very insecure. Somebody, you need to get some fucking sleep. Shit could be so much worse. The Spirit is telling you to minimize your self-love and the part of your self-love is your sleep. Anything else, Spirit? <laughs> You got a good thing going. You got a good thing going. Don't win that shit. It's not everybody else's fault. It's yours. So spirit is telling you, put your pride to the side. Apologize because you wrong and you actually got a good thing that's going. So don't, you aim to win every argument instead of get understanding. The spirit is telling you, don't do that. Make it rain trick and it's gonna make me dance. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody can listen to that during childhood. I don't know why. Every time I see this card, that probably my mind. Um, the spirit said your finances are gonna pick up. You just had to let things go. It will lie to your face. So something's been lying to your face. And spirit is like, don't take 12, take one, or okay, maybe two, move on. You're being called to move on from this because it's lying to your face consistently. Anything else, shit? Yeah, fuck shit is about to get real. Don't fucking force it. Somebody here, you need some fucking yoga in your life. Somebody here, you've been called to do yoga, dance, meditate. Um, things are about to get more real than you even realize. Okay, anything else you want to tell the collective today, spirit? Your hot mess fact, clean yourself up. Somebody here, you have not been minimizing your self love, self care. You're giving too much, for, you're giving too many fucks. Don't believe every shit you thought you have. Like I said, somebody you need to watch the music you listen to, watch what you watch. Really implement positive affirmations because it's something that could pop up in your head and you take them out with that shit. Stop obsessing. You look like a shit show. Whew. So you're obsessing over something and spirit is like, let it go. It's making your mental deprived. Being caught to move on from something as well. Let me get y'all a meditation card. Somebody, you need to smile. You ain't been smiling. I'm so fucking serious. Be me. I'm serious as fuck. Can you give me a meditation card, spirit? Twist. This type of meditation consists of three steps. Tell means to tune. So these three steps help you to start to tune your body and mind. Step one, the mind must concentrate on something. Step two, the body must become deeply relaxed. Step three, the breathing must become slow, long, thin, soft, and even. Spiritual. 
This type of meditation may include elements of silent, spoken, or chanted prayer. Practice this with the religion of your choice. And if you're not real, I'm just spiritual, okay? It can bring a deeper connection to the divine and deepen your spiritual growth. All right. That's a meditation practice for you all. The two of them. Um, let's see what's going on in your energy and then I'm gonna get up out of here. Okay, collective. Confirmation. This is a confirmation for somebody. Let me get the deck out. Somebody is a fallen angel. Let's just fail. Somebody's a gem. This fallen angel has been distant and cold with you since this action took place. They hired a hitman on you, a masculine Capricorn. This could be a new lover that you dealt with. Somebody is married. The divine feminine is dating. Here, 1300 could be how much they spent on this hitman. Somebody, you are a gem. Spirit is painting illusions. Your crowd is blocking your blessings. And if you've been questioning somebody, food and drinks, they're genuine. Um, there's something that needed to come out because it fell. Hold on. Yeah, somebody was trying to accuse you of doing this, but really in reality, this is what they do. They're traveling at a distance to do this, so this is not people that live close to you. Somebody is using a child as a pawn in this situation. Or you could have grew up in a home where you were used as a pawn. It's like a couple not being together. Well, if I can't be with you, then you can't see your child. They want to see us fall. So somebody, you are surround each other, make a dynamic fall. And they're doing whatever and anything to make it fall. It's a song. I, um, I got that from this song, Big Sean. And I think it's Queen Niza. And he like, they want to see us fall. Yeah. Somebody, if they were a people pleaser, not no more. They're not people pleasing anymore. Anymore. Okay. Let's see. Yo, they want to see us fall. Heavy on it. They want to see us fall. Heavy on it. They want to see us fall. You are mending bridges with somebody that got genuine acts of care. Nine could be something about nine. You could be seeing nines and or nine could be significant. The ninth could be significant. Something significant about a homicide. Somebody's be slandering you. You've been trying to say like you're a false prophet. Living a fast lifestyle. You're on your self-love journey here. You're a rape child. This could have been like somebody that got raped by a stranger and they passed the kid off. Somebody cannot manifest and a setup went through. Somebody's intent is to elevate your highest good. You're a peacemaker. Somebody could have hepatitis B. It could be dealing with physical abuse in order to something that you're healing from childhood. Somebody, this is your own doing. Pay other people to stalk somebody and now you're being stalked. Why are you testing divine? Get your shit together. So yeah, spirit is saying, get your shit together. Why are you testing divine? Somebody only wants to conquer, divide, and destroy you. They are a sex worker. So spirit is telling you, danger. You thought this was over. No, no, no. This only begun. Maybe you thought this was over and it's just oh, really genuinely just started. If they're in DNA, your ether and DNA is being updated because people are trying to cling on so much dark magic and doing so much slandering behind the scenes that it's trying to stick and then even your character. Somebody's going to try to come in with confessions. Somebody here, you are in the perfect career choice. Your entrepreneur is in reverse. You could be not minimizing your crafts. Somebody is rejecting you or bring you in just to reject you. Somebody, your home is tapped. They keep trying to guilt trip and shame you. They can't manipulate you no more. Something significant about baby mamas. Survival mechanism. So somebody is operating out of survival mode. The spirit is telling you. Let this shit play out. Don't take harm in your own hands. Somebody, you're in a pure connection. There's something significant about a false prophet. So I got a spiritual card 
this is somebody that's religious, so they could be like, yeah, something significant about death. You're a kidnapped child. Let's keep coming up. Okay, this is a person that's religious, and maybe they a Bible thumper, but really they a false prophet. Okay, take a high resonate. I'm gonna get up out of here. Spiritual gang gang. Let me cleanse y'all. I do that every fucking time, don't I? My spirit guides, divine guides, guardian angels, ancestors, ancient Egyptian ancestors, my Egyptian. Why am I doing it? Ancient Egyptian ancestors, my Indian ancestors, my African ancestors, my Greece ancestors, and my Asian ancestors. Um, my Greco Roman ancestors. I ask that you reveal more truth. And don't allow any illusions, projections, moon magic, black magic, hex excursions, spells, binds, EY. Mirror magic projections on the collective work field to see through. I ask that you transmute it to love, light, and healing energy and release it back to the light or divine. They handle anybody taking karma in their own hand. I ask that you release that back to the light or divine to handle. Um, anybody planning to hit me in, hiring a hitman, I ask that you expose them for who they are and you know, allow them to, yeah, you're going through a death and resurrection. Allow them to tell on each other at this fucking point. Um, I love you, my spiritual game game. Love, no mistake, and I'm out, out this bitch. I'm uploading, but it'll be taking a little minute, so work with me. If you want to book um, a reading, the information will be in the description box. And if you want to order a healing candle, that will be in the description box as well with the meanings and the meaning of the crystals that's on the candle. So I love you all, and so long, collective.